This is the Bernoulli equation, mechanical energy balance in units of joules per kilogram. Where the following variables are. Let's go to solving the friction loss LV. There are two methods in expressing friction losses. First is the method of velocity heads and the second is the method of equivalent length. Take note that the friction losses are incurred in the entire length of the pipe as the fluids pass through. This is called skin friction. There is also losses in the entrance and exit of the pipe and miscellaneous losses due to fittings, valves, etc. Velocity head K for entrance losses is equal to 0.5. K for exit losses is equal to 1. And K for miscellaneous losses can be found in Perry's handbook or other reference materials. Zero point five plus one plus K values for valves and fittings is equal to K total. For method of equivalent length, this is the equation. Where L is equals to length of pipe and LM is equals to equivalent length of pipe of miscellaneous losses the unit for LM is also in meters. LM can be solved using these two equations. Equations for velocity head or equation of equivalent pipe diameter multiplied by pipe diameter. For friction factor, there are several ways of solving. The most common of which are correlations from Perry's such as Colebrook and Churchill formulas. A chart could also be used in solving for friction factor. This is the Fanning friction factor chart from Perry's. It is a function of Reynolds number and surface roughness over diameter of the pipe. We also have a pipe friction chart from Colson. Same with Perry's, it is also a function of Reynolds number versus surface roughness over diameter of the pipe. To show you their uses, let's solve a sample problem. Let's do this step by step. Let's calculate each variables of the Bernoulli equation that are readily solvable. Otherwise stated in the problem, let's assume that both the tanks are open to the atmosphere, so pressure in the both sides will be cancelled. The height difference between liquid levels is 10 meters. Z1 will be 0 and Z2 is 10. Solving for velocity, in Reynolds number. And now we solve for friction losses using the method of equivalent length. L is given as 150 meters LM is equals to total equivalent pipe diameter times the diameter of the pipe. Solving for friction factor. Let's evaluate using the different charts and correlation. Surface roughness over pipe diameter is equals to 0.005. Plotting E over D from the chart with Reynolds number projecting upwards until intersecting the E over D line, we can project straight to the left and read the value of friction factor. The same method of plotting is used in Colson chart.
Let's also try solving using Colebrook. These are the values calculated with each different method. Just an important note when solving for friction factor. Friction factor evaluated from Colson is half of friction factor evaluated from Perry's. Solving now for friction loss using the friction factor from Colson. We're not done yet because there is still a 1.5 meter head loss stated in the problem. Head loss means pressure loss expressed in terms of height. To account for this pressure loss, means that additional work is required and is to be supplied by the pump. Solving for pressure loss using the hydrostatic equilibrium equation, we have And now we can finally solve for the power required. 